Like I like the scent on a dude, but not necessarily on my hair. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my July Boxy Charm box here for you today, and as usual, I've gone ahead and opened up this box. I've tried out the goodies inside, most all of them I'm wearing right now, so I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews and just my overall thoughts and opinions on this month's box, so let's jump into it. I really like the theme this month. It is Modern Mer Babes, which is so cute, and I love the just like lit up sign, and it's kind of like this purpley looking brick behind it, so it just has a really like pretty, neat sort of a theme to it. I really like it. It says, let's make waves. So, and then the back has some kind of like, I don't know, mermaid scale looking things and they're like purpley, blue, pinky, just really, really pretty. The first in my box, I got a hair oil treatment. This is the PYT hair oil treatment and it retails for $30. It says, penetrates a hair follicle and leaves hair frizz free. It prevents split ends and creates instant shine without the oily residue, safe for color treated hair. So I did use this yesterday. It does come with a little stopper, which is nice so it doesn't get oil everywhere. Um, I liked the like way it felt on my hair. I just used it on my ends. I really like the way it felt. Um, kind of my only feedback is that it smells straight up like men's cologne. It's very mannish. Not in a bad way, I mean, it smells really good, but you know, I feel like when I put it on my hair, I smell like a dude. So that's kind of my only feedback for it is it's not my favorite scent for me. Like I like the scent on a dude, but not necessarily on my hair, you know what I mean? So anyway, I do like it, but I would switch up the scent. I was really excited to see this in the box. This is the Ofra Professional Magnetic Palette. It's a full size and it retails for $59 says this professional magnetic palette made exclusively for BoxyCharm comes equipped with a mix of six shimmer and matte eyeshadows that normally retail for $10 for each pan. This versatile formula can be applied dry for subtle shading or damp for more intense color. It is also hypoallergenic, hypo, can I say that? Hypoallergenic and suitable for even the most sensitive eye areas. So I did use these on my eyes today. Some, one of them, like this one's a little bit cracked and then this one was pretty, pretty jacked up. So I tried to kind of smush it back in there, but that's why there's powder all over my palette. Um, but I did use these today and I really like them. Let me swatch them for you. These are all really nicely pigmented. I mean, you can just see it in the swatches. This one's not really showing up very well because it's really close to my skin tone color. It's just like, barely a little bit more yellowy toned, but almost dead on to my skin tone. So that's why that one's not really showing up, but these are all so pretty. I mean, this one, I went to put this in my crease and it like blended itself. It was so good. And then this one is like so buttery and pigmented, really, really nice. So I think these are super, super nice quality. Um, I bummed that it came broken. Like I wonder if you purchase these if they would come like individually wrapped. I don't know if that's the case, but I would hope so. So maybe that would like help with that because it just kind of came like this, you know, with them sort of in the palette with this over it, but it still got broken. So great quality, but that's a high price point, like $59 for this, that's pretty high. Um, you know, $10 a pan, I mean, that's like old Mac prices, but now that they've lowered that price and then also Makeup Geek, that just seems a little high priced for me. So I think the quality is really, really great. The price point just seems a little bit high to me. And I got an eyeliner from Mally. This is the Mally Beauty Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Eyeliner Single. And it retails for $18. It says glides on easily without a shadow base, yet lasts all day. It is rich, full, and gives strong coverage that can be used over, under, or in the inner rim of the eye. So I do have this on my um, lower lash line today. I love these liners. Like I've had them in multiple colors and I think that they are great. They're so creamy, they're pigmented. This one's like a really pretty kind of icy blue color. It's beautiful. So love this color. I think that's really, really fun, but I love these liners. I just think they are such nice quality. They glide on, they're easy to work with. They don't tug on your eyes. They last really, really well. They don't irritate my eyes. 
I think they're great. So I love that this was in the box. And lastly, I got a lip gloss. This is the Nuya lip gloss and it retails for $16. It says a natural lip gloss made without sulfates, parabens, or phthalates, phthalates, phthalates. I think it's phthalates, but I'm really not sure. Packaging is composed of earth-friendly bamboo. So, and I got the color Malbec, Malbec, M-A-L-B-E-C. I really like the packaging of this. I think it's really pretty. I do love the like top here with the little design. It's really, really cute. I am wearing this today. I like this. I love the color. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, it reminds me of a natural gloss. like. That's kind of how I would describe it. I don't know, like something about, not every time, but a lot of times more natural makeup just seems to be a little bit different, you know, in formula. And I mean, there's reasons for that, you know, this is a more probably healthy option to use because it doesn't have as many chemicals and stuff, but it just is a little bit patchy, a little bit streaky. It was hard for me to kind of get it even on my lips. Um, it seems to kind of move a little bit, like I had to wear it with a liner to sort of like prevent bleeding. Of course, sometimes glosses just do that in general, so it might not just be this gloss. I mean, a lot of times I wear gloss with liners because of that, but it just moved a little bit, and it's just a little bit patchy and uneven. But I do love the color, and I do like that it's more on the natural side. So, I mean, if that's what you're looking for, this is a pretty gloss. It's just those certain things you might have to do a little bit of work to get it more even on your lips, and you might have to wear a lip liner to prevent the bleeding, but really pretty shade. All right, so that is everything that I got in my box this month. So I just added up the value, and it is $123. So that's amazing. A really, really good box this month. You know, it had some pricier items in there that I might not necessarily pay individually for those, but getting them in the box is awesome. So another great box this month. I love BoxyCharm. I've mentioned that a bunch of times. It's one of my very favorites. It was my very favorite, but then Ipsy has been really good lately. So I would say they're about neck and neck for me right now, but I do love BoxyCharm. So if you want to sign up for it, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your BoxyCharm box this month. What was your favorite thing that you got? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!